so I originally came to work in Nelft because I'd done one of my specialty training posts here in Nelft, um, which I really enjoyed. It was a very interesting post in general and it also had an academic side to it. I live in East London. I live in one of the boroughs that is served by Nelft. I have trained in North East London. Uh, and I worked in many different boroughs in London and I really wanted to uh, work and serve the population where I live. One of the other aspects of uh, working in NELT is uh, hybrid working where uh, uh, employees are in, uh, can do on-site and off-site work. Of course, that needs to be agreed with the local management team because after all, we are all here to look after our patients. When I joined NEFT, soon after, I discovered that yeah, we have great opportunities in these trusts. For example, um, I was uh, provided with weekly supervision and I was allowed to attend um, um, academic afternoons on Wednesday and every week and I was being paid for this. The first thing that really attracted me that the whole environment of work it's very, very good, multicultural. And I found all of my colleagues, they are very, very supportive. They are coming from different culture, different background. That gives me the diversity. And also the patient population, it is also very diverse in this area. There is inclusion, there is this need to get the, patient, the children and young people involved in being part of taking decisions about what concerns them. There is associated a multidisciplinary approach and a multi-agency involvement. There is a, a, an innovative approach to providing uh, patient care in NELT. Peer support workers are uh, quite active. There, were, there are senior uh, mental health worker who has been appointed to GP practice. This helps us our relationship with, with the general practice and with the GPs, uh, which maintains uh, some flow back to the GPs and of course flow uh, to us. My experience as a whole in NELFT is that it's very focused on patient care, that's its main priority and it's got a very patient-centered approach. So it's really about trying to work out what's best for that particular patient. Certainly within our team, we offer a lot of flexibility in how we see patients, which is really important for older people. So I do a variety of home visits and I see people at our community base. There is a, an excellent integration between the crisis home treatment team, ICA, and mental health uh, wellbeing team. They are a regular attendee at our zoning meetings and we can refer patients uh, between ourselves in a manner which is safe for our patients. Everything is at the heart of, you know, what, what does our patients think about our meetings? What is it that we've discussed today will make a difference to our patient care? And that's something we are very passionate about. Um, the other thing is the recent drive to have that co-production with our service users. Uh, and that's something which is very unique and very supportive in terms of how we engage, especially our children and young people in every single services that we, every single service that we're trying to improve, but also we're trying to uh, maybe make a new service. So whether it's our transition pathways, whether it's our CAN services, uh, whether it's uh, our ASD neurodevelopmental service, it's really making sure that we have that co-production with our service users to drive those pathways. The patient care in NELT is, I would say, is a very holistic. And I see that the first thing patient likes about here, they are listened to. The patient are always listened to and they have a lot of satisfaction from the Department of Health as well, where they can give their feedback. The staff support here as an employee, I'm very satisfied. Not only the physical and emotional part, I think that we are also get supported by other benefits as well that actually help us in our social way as well. 
So I think there's some really good support networks in place for supporting staff at NELFT. We, as um, permanent members of staff and consultants, we're all within a peer su support group, which we meet um, once a month. I think we find that really helpful. We can discuss difficult cases that we've come across. We provide a lot of sort of support for each other if we're going through challenges. It's very friendly. It's a safe place to discuss things. We have got various initiatives uh, like WellNEL, which is a one-stop hub for uh, for staff staff support. But more importantly, for doctors, uh, the relationship with the local uh, medical management team is is good. Uh, as a result, people are uh, accessible. They can speak to uh, uh, their, their peer or they feel comfortable with and we do take up the issues seriously and in a timely uh, fashion. There is a regular um, 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 supervision for every staff. There is career opportunity for every staff and um, there is work pattern flexibility and we ha enjoy a very, very um, a, a, a healthy um, teamwork uh, that is also uh, full of a, a mix of skills and experiences. And what is unique to NELF, which I've really enjoyed, is the CAMS Forum and the Pediatric Forum, which is formalised in a way that we have a safe peer network group to discuss our complex cases, but also discuss our challenges and be able to support each other. To me, what I think makes Bakken and Dagnam unique is particularly um, looking into one of their core principles, such as uh, uh, being progressive, being innovative and continually uh, improving. This is driven by the need to make sure that we make our good better and our better best. So one of the other unique things about Barking and Dagenham is that the population we serve, that makes it very attractive for uh, people to invest in research. Recently we've linked up with Cambridge University um, and uh, we're appointing an academic professor role uh, and we're going to be doing some local population-based research on a diverse population and that will inform the pathways for our new newer developmental service. So it's an excellent opportunity and a unique directorate in, in that aspect. Barking and Dagenham is, is an exciting uh, a multicultural uh, uh, place where the staff and the patient and the carers they come from different background. Is if there are uh, initiatives to change or new ways of working, people are much more receptive to change. I think this comes from the fact that people have got different cultural background, have got different experiences, and they are more amenable to changes. So I've worked in Barking and Dagenham for six years now, and I'd say what makes it unique to me compared to the other boroughs in, in Nelft is that it's one of the smaller boroughs um, which I do think makes a difference. It's easier to get to know your colleagues, which then I think just makes communication a lot easier. It's an interesting place to work. It's a diverse population here. Um, and I think the teams that I've come across, everybody seems to be working with the same goal, just trying to provide good patient care. So Barking and Dagenham, especially the psychological service, especially the drug and alcohol service and the personality disorder service all together gave me huge opportunity to learn a lot about this particular sector and this field and helped me to grow as a consultant and to become a good um, clinician.